Ladies and gentlemen, meet John. John wants to use a pipe to stream files between his system and his program. So John goes to a company called Fstream. The attendant asks, what is the name you want on this pipe? John says, just call it new file. The attendant says, okay. John is given the pipe, but what John does with it next is a mystery. Or is it? Welcome to today's class guys and uh, we're gonna be looking at a question which I said I wasn't gonna solve which is B6 which talks about uh, writing and record description and things like that. It's a crazy one and also a lengthy one and so therefore I'm gonna divide it into parts probably with the longest video so far. See you in class and please don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye. I would like to go into solving it straight away but I feel some background knowledge is important. I know I promised not to answer questions like this because of time but i realized some people might need this and so therefore i figured why not just do it instead just talk about it besides it gets us uh prepared for some questions that we might be meeting in the future because we get to see things like objects and classes and uh you know using functions in full so this question b6 that associated with each of the chemical elements is as follows element name up to 12 characters symbol metal slash non-metal is a boolean side data types on this side these are the um variable names identifiers that you're going to create for this record a serial file atom data contains records for all the elements so you're going to have a file called atom data probably txt but in our case it's going to be dot bin which i will explain in due time it contains records for all elements write a record description named elements for this data and file declaration we'll see that in due time write a program which searches the file for the first five metals with a density greater than 8.0 so keyword is first five metals then has to have a density greater than 8.0 and then a liquid range which is the boiling point minus the melting point greater than 500 degree celsius print the name and that atomic mass of the five elements so that's your job here you're supposed to go through the file pick what's in it use that to perform uh, a search operation and then print out to screen the name atomic mass of the five elements now so this question is quite complex so we're going to start at the point where we discuss records and structures and uh, classes most likely and see the difference between records and arrays too so we can uh, just get ourselves in the ballpark for excellence before we move on to the next thing so I'm going to take my time to explain what a record is, right? What is a record? A record is a data structure for storing a fixed number of elements. First and foremost, we start at that. Now, think about records you can find in your daily environment. So a record about you is a structure, a data structure that has been designed to store information about you, a fixed amount of information about you. So you have all sorts of declarations in that record about you. So in the record about you, for instance, let's relate it to what we need for our students. So because you, uh, we have different forms in which we exist. So Sometimes we are students, sometimes we are uh, professionals at our workplace, sometimes we are buying something at a supermarket, so information is different then. Sometimes we are opening a bank account, you know, different things. And so they clean off different information on us, depending on the context in which we exist. So for uh, a situation of a student, for instance, the information that is necessary to create a record, which is a data structure for storing a fixed number of elements. So let's say we are keeping just a few amount of things. We'll be, let's say, for instance, first and foremost, it's important to have the name of a person. It's important to have the date of bath of a student is what you always see all the time then what else can we have for a student class of a student grades so we are pertaining this to just one course so we look at grades we look at uh, what else can we check out for a student so the course you are enrolling in we can have a course id which is a unique identifier for this uh, student when it is filled up what else can we have um let's just say we have this set of things let's keep it limited let's keep it succinct so we have this name basically date of birth class grade course name course id this right here is called record definition we are defining the record which we shall be using as a template to store details of other students this is the definition right and in programming we need to give these data types different values as they exist remember programs are all about data types and variables you can't just store a name you have to store a name and identifier and that's of a certain type date of birth has to be a certain type so all of these things you are seeing here is what will be used to create a record for a certain person so we've defined the record here and then we want to create a record for a certain student our job is just to use this record definition to create those records so quickly let's take an example of a record for a student so let's take an arbitrary student let's say name is john date of birth is 190872 class of 99 let's say he has a grade let's say an a and then course name course name is probably physics then course id is 001gf now this is john's record this right here will be called john's record now this record exists right for john and is stored on a file now the difference between a record and a file is that a file stores different records so if you have another record for maybe sarah brian you have for tunde thompson all these records will be stored on a file so a file simply is a store for records now 
So the difference between an array and a record is that an array is an homogeneous element store in the sense that whatever you are calling for an array, if you call an array of int, what you will be putting in here could only be integers. You cannot put other data types in here. If you call an array of characters, a character array is basically a string at the end of the day. So yeah, you take this and you probably give it, this is a quick way to give it something. Let's say I gave it uh, Peter, which means I'm not using the whole thing. This also is homogeneous in the storage because we have P, E, T, E are all stored in a form that is similar to this now this is a delimiter it's how your compiler knows that your character array has reached its end it looks for this symbol and then it knows to only convert this part to a string but that's a story for another day now you have your record records give us the facility to store elements that are heterogeneous that are not the same because if we take a look back at this name date of birth class grade course name course id template you have here this definition and we look at john's record for instance you realize that john's record is not just made up of only numbers or only only characters you know or booleans or of just similar data types john's record is made up of different data types and that's what a record affords you so yeah you have john which is probably going to be a string an array of characters you have this which is basically going to be probably broken down but this could also be a string because this is with symbols and numbers combined this here could be an integer class of 99 this is going to be a character this is going to be a string also and another string so you see we have integers mixed with characters mixed with character array or strings you don't want to put strings in classes there's a reason for that especially when you're working with files we might look at that try as much as possible to avoid putting strings in your classes use character arrays instead create dynamic character arrays uh, for storage of your text so we have this you know mixed up we can have booleans along the way which you don't have here but we can have all these things together in one place and that's what the record affords us an array on the other hand doesn't we are still going to use arrays at one point because we can use an array to store different records that have been created so we can have an homogeneous storage of records so we can have an array that is going to store john's record you can see how the homogeneity plays off we can have sarah's record all the way to thompson's record all stored on this array so this array here is housing the records this record this record all the way to thompson's record because they are homogeneous they are all similar so a record is an heterogeneous element store now i think we should at this point know the difference between a file which is a store for records and an array and then records itself now record definition is something that appears in different forms in different programming languages but for c++ which is our main language of choice we are going to be creating records using structs or classes now the idea of structs and classes is something that uh, is quite quite massive to discuss in this video so it's something that we'll see later on so let's just do a quick summary we said we have a record definition right which is like a template for all the records we'll be creating so if we were to create john's record we'll just drag this template that we've created and fill it up and then call it john's record if we were to create sarah's record too we'll drag this template and fill it up and create sarah's record and so this record definition is a template it has a certain name we'll call it a name we can call it student record then we'll call sarah's record call brand's record tunde's record thompson's record all using this record definition that we've created now we talked about files being a store for records so a file would simply be a house where different records will be stored in and it's these records that you can use to perform other things back in your system then we'll move on to talk about arrays being homogeneous element stores where you can only have the same elements stored all together you can store different types of elements in an array and then we'll move on to look at records which define data structure and with it we can store heterogeneous elements and which we saw for here where we had the integer character string boolean which we don't have here but yeah you can do all sorts of storage here. you can even store other records inside other records because you're definitely creating types so now when it comes to creating your own types in a programming language you can use structures or classes all sorts of things but here for records we'll be using structures and classes first and foremost so let's understand the concept of structures and classes which i will explain in the next part so see you in part b bye